Hey guys, I am back with another makeup tutorial, another fall makeup tutorial to be exact. I mean, obviously you could wear this look whenever you want, but I really just love this color on my lips for the fall. It's like a beautiful metallic maroon. This is actually what is on my lips and it is from Beauty Bakery. I used one of their um, liquid lipsticks, well their lip whips, in my last tutorial as well. But I'm just obsessed with this one because it is just such a pretty metallic shade. And this is in the shade Cinnamon Roll. So yeah, I just decided to go all out and pair it with a dark brown smoky eye. And that's really it. That's enough from me. So let's just jump into the tutorial. Of course, the first step is to prime my eyes. I'm taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just putting that all over my lid using my finger. And here I'm just setting the paint pot using a cream eyeshadow. I just wanted to make sure that everything really did blend seamlessly. Now going into my Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette, I'm taking this medium tone like brown shade and I'm putting that right into my crease using a large blending brush. And then back into the same palette, I'm grabbing a shade that's a little bit darker and I'm using the same brush and putting that in my crease as well. But you can see this one is just a little bit lower because it's starting off like the gradient feel. And then jumping into my Morphe palette, I'm taking another shade of brown, which is just a little bit darker, and you can see it's the same process. This one is just going a little bit lower into the crease. Now taking yet another shade darker, and I'm going to actually pack this on my crease and then blend it up into the other shades. And you can see they're kind of like starting to gradually fade out and look smoky. Again, it's my Morphe palette. I'm grabbing this darkest shade that I'll be using. It's a little bit purpley, and I'm doing the same thing as last time. I'm packing this all over the lid and then blending it in with the other shades, and you can see that it's really getting smoky here. And then I'm going to grab my Lorac Pro palette and take the shades white and cream, and this is what I'm using to highlight my brow bone, and it looks so intense at first, I know, but you'll see it blends out. And then from my Manny MUA palette, I'm taking this like foily kind of rose gold shade and that's what I'm going to use in my inner corner just to brighten them up a little bit. And then off camera, I put on my wing liner and my lashes and while my eyelash glue is drying, I'm actually priming my face. So I'm using this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm going to come back to my eyes in a second, but I just did it off camera to save time. So now I'm grabbing this Cover FX, um, this like oil-free foundation that you guys know I used to love. But if you can see that, like what? No wonder I haven't used it forever. <laughs> like it doesn't match me at all. So clearly I went and saved myself. I used this Clinique Beyond Perfecting, like the two-in-one foundation and concealer, and just layered that right over the Cover FX. So ended up working out in the end. I did get my color back and I got a super duper full coverage foundation since both of those foundations are full coverage on their own, let alone layer on top of each other. And then I'm going to grab my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, Creamy Radiant, whatever. It's in the shade Creme Brulee and just highlighting underneath my eyes and different points of my face and blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Then taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, of course I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. And then I also take a large powder brush and set the rest of my face. And now taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm grabbing the color Fawn. And this is what I'm using to carve out my cheekbones. And then of course I do contour up onto my temple and forehead a little bit. And then I actually decided to bake a little bit underneath my contour just to make it a little bit sharper. So, <laughs> And then while that's um, baking, I'm actually touching up my wings liner and making sure there's no lash glue popping through. So I think this is just, yeah, it's just my Clinique liner. 
And then I am again curling my lashes just to make sure the falsies and natural ones go together. And I'm smoking out my lower lash line. I was using that last deep like purpley matte shade from Morphe. Just to tie everything together to make it super smoky all around my eye. And then here I am touching up on that highlight shade, the um, like foily rose gold one in my inner corner. You can tell it really pops against the darker colors. And then just throwing on my Clinique Bottom Lash, per usual. And then I was just wiping away all that baking powder, all that baking soda. <laughs> okay, this is the Urban Decay blush in the shade video. I just love it. It's just so natural looking. So just putting on blush like you put on blush. And then for highlights, this is the ColourPop and Karuchi collab, the K-pop shade in glow up and i just love it it's so gold and bronzy and beautiful but putting on my cheekbones my nose everywhere my whole face and then taking mac fix plus i'm gonna spray this all over my face and yeah you guys know this isn't a setting spray right i know i use it every time but i just use it to make myself look dewy and like melt all my makeup together but it's not an actual setting spray anyway this is um another lip whip from beauty bakery in the shade cinnamon roll like i mentioned in my intro and look at it it's just beautiful so once the lips are done this look is complete I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Love you. Mwah.